twisting his shoulders. Oh shit! I didn't look at the song. This is a new OSC. I'm surprised they still got some new OSC up their sleeves. That's nice. Too. Oh, this one's pretty good though. This one's pretty good. I like it. I explained what happened yesterday to everyone in the club room. Then Lee practiced and always on hands as I heard to Takafuchi. I'm trying to hear the OSC too. I can't just ignore what happened. It's fresh. It's far too fresh in my mind. I shoot Rika a text to let her know I'm on my way over. When I arrive at Takafuji practice area, I found Satuin and Rika standing alone. Why you call me by my full name? That's weird. How you feeling, Satuin? I see. That's good to hear. What a relief. So what's everyone else? The usually vibrant place is eerily silent. Are they outside running or something? Rika hangs her head in sorrow. I mean, a lot of your students got concussions. Because of the incident yesterday? Bro, a concussion is nothing to play with, man. Yesterday, Kurobuchi went up against three Otaka Fuji players, Satsumi san included, and gave them concussions. That's understandable. I get why it's hard to practice with that thought looming over your head. She seems to regret the fact that they're skipping practice, but she definitely made the right decision. Forcing people into action won't solve anything. Time will heal all wounds, especially once Go to Butchie gets punished. So they just have to wait a little, since trying to manipulate their emotion is a bad idea. What's the other reason? Oh, damn. Concussions are rare in the amateur matches. I never even heard of three people coming down with it in a row. It makes sense that some anxious club members would rather come to that conclusion, though. What do you plan on doing now? Satsuin only just became the president. Taking over from Shindo would have been hard enough under normal circumstances. But now that this has happened, it's going to be hard to maintain moral. Morale. I realize this is sudden, but how about we start a joint training camp tomorrow? Even assuming only you and Rika joined, we'll have more than enough players to actually practice. I think once your other club members see you practicing, they'll follow suit before too long. The least we can do right now is try and keep things moving. Yep, no alter motives whatsoever. Damn. I think I think uh Satsumi knows. Masaya got low-key feelings. For Rika. 
I mean, getting to use your facility free of charge is a pretty great perk. I don't know what kind of turret motive you had in mind. Satsune grins at me for a moment, then wipes any hidden emotion from her face. You don't have to apologize. Our club members love practicing here, so it's our pleasure, really. This is going to be great. If you're fine with me. Great, thanks. Hmm? I hear footsteps behind me. Yeah, I was really concerned after yesterday, so I came by to check on you guys. I think, she's not finished. I think they're gonna let her off the hook. That's what I think. Oh shit, I was wrong. Rika holds her breath. Only for a week. Damn. Shindo says that in a calm tone. You know why? She's that good. She's probably their star player. Dude. She played rough enough to get three people concussion, and that's all she gets? Nah, damn. You know what happened? She got away because she's pretty cute. It's the red eyes and black hair combo, man. It's hard to beat that. It's such a good combo. She was apologetic, huh? I remember how she looked after the incident. It is even possible for her to feel remorse. Satsuin showed a slump as she sighs. その決まったからには私たちが私たちが嘘をついていると思われるかということで。そうじゃなくて、証拠がないということだよ。第三者が見ていたわけじゃないからね。そんな本人が深く反省している事故と見ることもできる。その状況でこれ以上の処分は難しいのですが。でも、こっ
We got things for a moment. Please, Rika, uh, explain this. I'm not too smart on this. Oh, yes. This. This. Skywalkers are covered by anti-gravity membranes, meaning there's no risk of injury even when they collide. When you caught in a pincer move, the impacts of your membranes get transferred directly to you. Oh, you mean like a car crash? For example, say you take an impact on your right side, usually you'd be moved left from the force. However, if your left side is held down, that force is bounced straight to your back to your right. Membranes allow Skywalkers to pull on some insane moves. Thanks to them, air kick turns and culverts are possible, but at the same time, the force comes in both directions and there's no way to escape, concentrating in the middle. When I say the middle, I mean the middle of the membranes. There's no danger to a player's internal organs. What the fuck? That sound uh, pretty bad. You watch her matches. Did you see her holding her opponent between her arms and legs? Do you remember anything Satsumi? You actually faced her. I see. People tend to lose memories of what happened right before they got a concussion. Damn, she got a concussion! Oh shit! Let me guess, you're wondering how she managed to pull it off three times in a row? It's impossible to get a concussion unless your impact to your membranes is directed at your head. Damn. Whatever had no idea how someone can do that intentionally. Uh, I guess. We can not try to conceal her dissatisfaction. だからこそですが、ここで全部長に頼っているようでは、高藤に明日はありません。なので、辛いです。私たちだけで頑張りますが。そうか、分かった。期待しているよ。ご期待に添えるように努力いたしますわ。Satsumi bowed deeply, her mouth a tight straight line. Oh, it's nice. Rika has kept her head tilted downward as we walked silence, but she suddenly raises it. Same. Uh, they are? Hi. She actually wants to fight her. I take a long, hard look at Rika. No, you didn't. I'm just surprised that's your first thought, I guess. He should have said that was weird, right? Because she said that she wanted to be more weird. And then he was like, yeah, that was super weird of you to say that. And then maybe she was like, oh yeah, I did remember I tried to be weird. So that I wish it went in that direction. Like you want to settle things in a match against an opponent who fights dirty? I just realized she has that competitive side to her. Can't believe I didn't think of that before. I mean, no one plays a competitive sport without it. So of course she does. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure that side of her comes out after her match with Misaki at the summer tournament. You're pricingly passionate at times, Rika. Well, I know exactly how you feel. She gave three people concussions. It might be weird to say she wants to avenge them, but I understand why she wants to settle things in a match. Still, I think our best bet is to not get involved with her. It seems like she uses bending the rules and playing dirty. No matter what you try, she'll end up running circles around you. Then she should be a police officer or something. Maybe, but if we avoid her entirely, things won't get any worse. You understand, but you don't agree with it. はい。でも納得するつもりです。私は新部長をしっかり支えたいですから。佐藤井先輩が一番辛いと思いますし。Yeah, but hey. I'm sure all the support you're giving her gets a huge load off her shoulders, Rika. Stop what? 私なんかまだまだですから。まだまだだから。佐藤院先輩のお役に立てるように頑張ろうと思っているんです。She aims a faint smile at me as she says that. The first day of our joint training camp comes to an end, and Satsumi bows to us. The only participants from Takafuji were Satsumi and Rika, but I'm sure the rest will come back if this keeps up. What did she say that, bro? They've been explaining her around why she talked like that. I need an explanation why. Seriously? That's it? Why don't you two try working this hard every day? Rika smiled, seemingly full of cheer. Rika. She totally forgot our promise. Everyone lets out a little laugh. After which Tatsumi gives a small nod. Asuka raises a hand. What's up? Asuka,やる気だ。シザーズをリカちゃんから教えてもらっていたんですけど。Oh my god! I know that's a move, right? That's a move in FC called Scissors. I think Scissors like a speed move or some shit. This shit sounds odd. Why do you gotta name it Scissors? Oh, uh, alright, whatever. Rika taught me to Scissors? Okay. I think we want to achieve Yuri ending for sure. 100%. I see a little Rika X uh, Asuka going on too much. Well, I'm your coach, so I gotta stay behind too. Right. 
ごめんなさい私のせいで皆さんに迷惑かけてほんの少しだけで終わりますからアスカちゃんのほんの少しだけは長そうだなそそんなことないと思います気にしなくていいですアスカさんと一緒に飛ぶのはとても勉強になりますから、yeah, しっかりと体を休ませるのも練習のうちなのですけどサツウィンキャスターゲイズオーバーアホグループ時間内で練習をすることが大切ですから他の皆さんは帰宅なさってください居残り練習が当たり前になるとけじめがなくなってしまいますから、so、this is gonna be Oscar, Rika, Satsuin, and me. なんだか本当にすみませんたまにはこういうのも楽しくていいですわしっかり練習なさってくださいはいじゃあ私たちは先に帰るねお疲れ様でしたお疲れーまた明日ねー After that, the Takafuji Club members also said their goodbyes and head out それじゃあ始めましょうか I noticed I noticed the majority of the main cast have blue eyes Hey, Nika technically kind of like this green color But it's like teal So it's like a mixture of green and blue Oscar eyes are blue I think Monstro eyes are blue too The only person eyes that's not blue is Misaki They should have just made her eyes blue too I don't know I'm not 100% confirmed on Misaki and Monstro eyes I gotta look at their eyes again. Hinata Masaya. Satsumi quietly calls out my name as she stands next to me, looking up at Rika and Asuka. What it is, what it is, what's up? I don't know if I can help you. I don't know if I can help you. I don't know if I can help you. This is the closest we'll have to a Satsumin row. The closest. Ow, fuck, what the fuck? My hand hurts. Ow. Okay, this one. Ah, the closest thing we'll ever have. Oh, it's fine. We get a ton of practicing with Takafuji. So why don't we just say we're even? Ah, oh, what's well, Don't be a bitch. They said that. <laughs> Just say that all. Let's have lunch later. Stop tweeting. Let's have a short chuckle. I thought she snored it. I say snore. Okay. Understood. I'll tell you. But after the Kanahama Games, I won't be able to play against the best of the best. I won't be able to play If only they gave me a decision, I would have said, "Let's go out for some lunch." And neither will we. That's right. With that, we return to watching Asuka and Rika practicing. Hmm? She's jealous. Rika suddenly comes to a halt and is looking down from the field to an area behind while we're standing. What's wrong? As I said this, I turned around. What's wrong? Oh, oh it's uh. Kurobuchi. I spot a familiar figure with long arms and legs. Damn. Stalking? Weird. She's staring fixedly at us, as if judging the situation. Ah. I take a step forward her without even thinking about what to do or say when. Satsumi holds out her hand to restrain me. I understand. I might just complicate things by getting involved. Satoi Senpai! Kochi! What's wrong? The two of them descend and turns off their gravity shoes. No! She wants to run back. Ruka gives a firm nod. Then Satoi takes a step forward towards Kurobuchi. <laughs> I 
Yo, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Kurobuchi remains silent, and eventually, she suddenly bounds in a way that makes it seem like her spine has snapped in two. Damn, she's flexible. That's all I'm thinking. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm so glad I'm not there. If I'm there, I would have been a sucker. Tears are forming in Kurobuchi's eyes. What the hell? She's kind of cute. What the fuck? She doesn't seem to be messing around, but it also doesn't look like a serious apology. No, maybe that's not quite right. It makes me feel uncomfortable, like I'm in the wrong for not taking it seriously. Good, but she repeatedly bounced her head in apology. This discomfort is growing inside me. This makes me want to watch Day to Life. Just to see. Um, I forgot her name. I don't want to call her Kazumi or something like that. You know, the Yandir girl. Where's it coming from? Shit. Kurobuchi's face remains deadly serious, but the corners of her mouth are slowly rising. Dude! I don't know why. I like, I like the Yandir feeling. Before long, the ominous smile has taken over her face. Nanda. どういう意味ですか偶然なんかじゃないって気づいてたんだ何がおかしいんですかちゃんと現実を直視することができるんだって思ってだからそれの何がおかしいのか聞いているんですわあんな目にあったんですから私のこと怖いですよね<笑> <気づいてたんだ。笑> <笑> それなのに無理して気丈な態度をとっているからなんだかおかしくてメインキャラクタープリーズメインキャラクタープリーズねどうあのままじゃ納得できないんじゃない名門の高藤の選手があんな風に三人もやられたんじゃね<笑><笑> Kurobuchi suddenly puts on a charming smile. This is bad. Satsumi rising to a provocation. Provocation? I know I should find a way to stop this, but I feel like I'll just make things worse if I mishandle this. Man, she's really good at provoking people. I mean, her words aren't anything too special. I'm sure there are tons of people better at getting a rise out of others that way. But Kurobuchi's facial expression gestures are incredible. Though, it may be more accurate to say it's thanks to the precise movements in her facial muscles instead of her expression themselves. Her intentions are painfully clear. There's scorn behind that charming smile. And that gap is what gets you under your skin. And that's not all. You can feel something lurking beneath her charming smile and her virtuous actions. Her exaggerated bows make that obvious enough. Simply watching her pisses you off. All her actions get under your skin. Wait. That aura. I can feel the dark aura swirling around Kurobuchi. She must be what Satsumi was talking about. After seeing that, she exhales her an explosive breath. 
わざとだとしても前に2人もされてるんだから最後の1人はもっと警戒するものだと思います。あれ最後の一人って誰でしたっけおかえりなさいこれ以上あなたと話すつもりはありませんわそんなこと言わないでくださいお願いしますクヤシクテクヤシクテクヤシクテクヤシクテクヤシクテクヤだから私がまた試合をしてあげようかなと思ってきたんですけど試合何をおっしゃっているのかしらあなたは対外試合を禁じられているはずですわ明日から対外試合7日間停止残念禁じられているのは明日から pretty smart. そんな気分どこが機敏なんでしょうかだって明日からだもんだから今日はまだ試合をしてもいいの<笑>おいで今度は逆に私を試合で痛めつけてしましょうねえ楽しい楽しい試合をねサツミンショーダーテンサーサツミンサンあなたまさかそんな心配そうな声を出さなくても大丈夫だよ。You gotta stop up, man! サツミン raises a hand to her mouth. <laughs> I still think m a s a i should have stepped up. <laughs> should have stepped up, man. I knew this could have butchy gulp at the sounding o m p e r s and laughter. そのように挑発を繰り返しても私は絶対にあなたと試合をしたりはしませんわおかえりなさい<笑>何がおかしいのかしら後ろの人の意見は違うみたいだけど Damn <笑> What's this music? This one's new too Damn they got like three new OSC in this round I'm trying to listen to this. Rika face has gone bright red. She's seething with anger. That's her angry face. Come on, man. What the fuck? That's not an angry face. That's a, that's a pouty face. She's pouty. Ah, this should have made her get a better angry face. I can't take this seriously with that face. It's a balloon inside her, threatening to explode at any moment. I thought her silence was strange, but. It's kind of cute, man. Alright. I never expected her to get this work, though. She's provoking you. Don't get angry. You have to ignore it. Tell him, Ruka. Tell him how you feel. I doubt it is. Feels like all I have to do is shout, Go! And clap her on the shoulders to make her snap and charge Rai Kurabuchi. Satoin Senpai ni Hanna Kuchi no Kiki Kata Shite. So moon that the Shio Shio? Ne? So re ni, Hora, Janto, Shoroi mo yoi shite kita on this yo? Sh. Shoroi te na desu ka? 前回は約束もなくお邪魔しちゃいましたから今回はちゃんと申し込み書を書いてきたんですよ正式なお願いなのに断るんですか<笑> Ika's anger intensifies Listen, you have to calm down If you agree to a match right now, you'll be playing right into her hands You could turn to face Kurobuchi with a stiff expression on her face. <laughs> Kurobuchi suddenly stoops forward like her head has literally fallen off, then twists her neck. 
So look up at Rika from below. Her lips form a grin. The movement of her mouth alone make her scorn and disdain overwhelmingly obvious. Few people can remain calm under so much abuse. Her long hair flutters ominously. Ah, let's go, Asuka! Finally! Let's go! Let's go, Asuka! Dude, how's Asuka gonna stare the spotlight in thunder like that? She just got that much of a presence. <laughs> Do you even realize what you're saying? She's so positive. I wish you find this kind of stuff less interesting. She plays dirty. You don't want to end up with a concussion, do you? No, Oscar, no. So pure. Uh, she just wanna play. Yo, you don't know her. Look, back up, Sansuin. You don't know what plays like that. Look, Sansuin. No. Look, Oscar just pure. Let her pure pureness be. Asuka just truly love FC. That's why she's doing this. Innocent, naive individuals often can't control their words and actions. And that's what's happening to Asuka right now. Kurobuchi lets out a refreshing laugh, then approaches us in a way that makes it look like she's dragging her long limbs behind her. No, you can't. No, but. Come on, man. Just let her play. Asuka and I sparkle. Just let her play. I can sense that Asuka move beyond simple interest or determination. Or determination. Mm, maybe she has to plan to deal with whatever Kurobuchi throws at her. Or maybe she feels this is important for more personal reasons. I'm not really sure what her reasoning is, but her gaze is so powerful that it makes me falter. Could have been she already has Satsumi and Rika exactly where she wants them. So given the situation, they have no chance of beating her. But Asuka. Asuka hasn't been sucked in by her at all. And all she's done is develop an interest. Honestly. Asuka might have a shot here. Actually, I think she has a pretty good chance of winning, even. I imagine Kurobuchi strategy evolves around getting into her opponent's head, so she's safe from that. But now, what to do? Huh? Before I knew it, Kurobuchi is staring straight at me. Sh sure? I wonder how Oscar's gonna do this. A shiver runs down my spine. I, I just, I caved completely. And if she hadn't chosen that exact moment to ask in the exact tone, I may not have agreed. What she learned to do all this? She's terrifying. Fear runs through me. But Oscar. So pure. She's smiling without even a hint of fear on her face. 
Asuka, who loved discovering new things, shall fly right by Kurabuchi traps. After that, Kurabuchi goes to change into a flight suit. And when she returns, she immediately says something that makes me feel uneasy. Hey, wait, I never approve of any rule changes. Kurabuchi smiles provocatively. <laughs> She takes a conscious step back. Damn. I like the activation code. The activation code is cool. Then she sets an ominous activation key and flies off towards first. Rika suddenly closes in on me. Satsuin already faced Kurobuchi once, so she knows that better than anyone. それに、日向雅也は暮らしのアスカのことをよく知っています。だからこそ、あえて受けたのかもしれません。yeah, I think Asuka can win. Personality-wise, she's the first person to fight Kurobichi. Probably, yeah. I don't want to say this to them, but I think the odds are in our favor. If I felt differently, I would have never accepted this in the first place. さっきはあんな風に言いましたけど、皆さんの気持ちのために Oscar really thought this all through, huh? Asuka. Hi. I don't know much about Kurobuchi, but I do know a bit about players who like to fight dirty. You find some who are like that in higher level FC. Usually, your opponent gets a point if you break the rules, but there are players who throw away that point in order to take control of the game. Exactly. You will find many players like that at the student level, but are a bunch in the pro scene. All things considered, it's probably good that you get to experience it now. However, I give Asuka an extremely stern gaze as I uh, to get her to submit to me. If you think things are getting too dangerous, forfeit at once. Promise? Okay, then the first thing you need to do is to be careful on the first line. During the summer tournament, she pretended to accidentally bump her floats into her opponents enough time to get disqualified for it. Watch out for her doing the same here. Not normally, no. The membrane covering your body also cover your floats. Usually they just trail behind you as you fly. Don't you think you're able to swing them around like you do with your crab shoes or turned off if the membrane covering them was really thin, though? No, I mean, if someone did that, there would be proof of them playing dirty. The solution is to use a special agent. There's a special agent made of dioxide that inhibits the membrane. There are various uh, opinions on why this works, but no one has a clear answer yet. It's hard to imagine it will affect the anti-graviton themselves, so people believe it affects the equipment producing them instead. 
However, there's no real proof of that either. You figure as much, but that doesn't work. For some reason, shaking around whatever you smear the agent on makes the effect vanish. If it looks like you are about to be inspected, you just casually shake around a bunch. If you keep on shaking during the tournament, the official will consider the intentional foul play. But otherwise, it's hard to tell. Plus, cheaters are rare enough, so they're slow to actually inspect them. That's a special kind of foul play. If you get caught, you're immediately disqualified. I glance up at Kodobuchi, who's waiting by first. If we answer the specter's suit, should just shake off the Asian ahead of time. We escape a trick that way. But I think we should just face it head on. Asa gives a firm nod. If you manage to avoid that, she'll feel pressure because you know her tricks. And who knows, that may throw off her game. People who fight dirty may seem strong, but that only because most people don't practice with them in mind. If we show we know what we're up against, she might self-destruct. Exactly. Basically, she'll try to swing her flows at you when you start, so stay out of her reach. Yeah, but once you get through that, watch out during dogfight, she definitely try to get those long limbs to pincer you. I told her about pincer move yesterday. Kurobuchi may have long reach, but as long as you remain cautious, you should be able to avoid getting pincer. She won't get a chance to even try unless they get real close. If it does happen, start flailing your arms and legs around like a little kid throwing a tantrum. Asuka spins her arms around. Yeah, like that. That should stop her from getting close to you. Normally doing with that, your opponent close would just throw off your balance and provide an opening for them to exploit. However, I figure if you adopt a specific posture to these pincers, and then in that case, it should be hard to build up speed. Thanks to that, shaking her limbs around wildly should be an effective strategy. And if Kurobuchi really does go for a pincer move, I'll take that chance to intervene. Focus on speed during dogfights and circle around her from a distance while targeting her back. You don't want you to exchange your blows at close range. Alright, then go out there and give her hell. I had to speed that up a little bit. Don't get too reckless, you hear? Also gives a firm nod. I have to grab shoots and flies over to first. Sorry, I know I shouldn't have given her all that demands like that. Oh, well, I've been thinking about it a while, actually. Figure one of my players might have to face it someday. Can't say I expected it to happen this soon, though. Masaya-san. She's mad. Rika seems unsatisfied. Because Asuka's good. You're not that good. Because there's no point in you fighting her right now. You're too worked up. She have you in her palm of her hands if you fought her right now. I'm not trying to be mean here, okay? If you think about it carefully, I'm sure you understand I'm right. Yeah, she's still mad though. Still mad. We could barely manage to squeeze out those words. She understands, but can't accept it. Yeah. Alright, I guess. Satsumi says that, then flies to join the two girls in the sky. There's sorrow in her eyes. You're getting better by the day, but I can't let your face go to butcher right now. Vika reflects on my words, then falls silent. Kurobuchi waits by first, a sharp smile cutting across her face. 